This is Joan Whitson with Early Learning Coalition of North Florida. Spring is here and so are butterflies. Today I'm going to talk about butterflies for a little bit and show you an art project that I think the kids will really like. Butterflies are the perfect example of natural symmetry. What is symmetry? Well, it's a pattern. What you see on one side of something is exactly the same as what you see on the other side of something. It's like a mirror image. When you look into a mirror, what you see reflects right back at you. In this case, my face. Hi there. Butterflies are the perfect example of symmetry. Let me show you these wings. Aren't those beautiful? The same pattern that is on this side is the same pattern that is on this side. Let me show you a monarch butterfly. Again, the same pattern that is on the left side is the same pattern that is on the right side. It's very symmetrical. I'm going to show you an art project that I call Butterfly Surprise. This is an example of an activity that covers several learning objectives. The first is that it's an arts and craft activity, so it's going to encourage creative design. Secondly, it's going to build eye and hand coordination because it involves painting and cutting. Thirdly, it emphasizes patterns, which is really important in developing a child's early math skills. This is what you need to get started. First, you need some paint, preferably tempera, a paint that's washable. A paper plate, a piece of white paper, a scissors, a pencil, and a spoon, Q-tips, or a brush. This is what you do. You just start out by putting some colors on a plate. It doesn't matter what colors you pick. I just happen to like pink and purple. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with. I'm going to put a little green on here. And also a little blue. There we go. And a little yellow. Shake that up a little bit so it comes on out. All right. Now once we've done that, then we take our white piece of paper. Cut a butterfly shape on the fold. So you fold your paper, and what I think it's easier for kids is if you take a pencil and draw the pattern of a butterfly. That way it's easier for them to cut. So once I've drawn my pattern, we just cut out the butterfly. Just like this. Perfect. And then you open up your butterfly like that and you lay it down flat. And now this is the fun part. You have the kids paint just one side of the butterfly. And I first of all, I'm going to use the Q-tip. I like how that looks. So I'm going to dip it in the paint and then I'm just going to make some nice dots and patterns right along the side. After I'm done with that, um, maybe you don't have a Q-tip and you want to use a brush. You can do that. I'll show you an example of what that looks like. There's some purple. You could do a little line. You could do a little swirl pattern. Or make a big dot. And then an idea that I saw was using a spoon. Let's try and see what that is. You can have the kids take some paint and you could put it on there and swirl it around like so. finish off with some more um, q-tips. Let's try a little blue. Make some color patterns all around the top of my butterfly. And maybe along the inside as well. That'll look beautiful. And now that you've used all your colors or if that's all you want to do, then this is the fun part. You fold over your butterfly and then you press it down. You know what? There you go. And then you open it up and voila! 
Each wing is a mirror image, image of the other. Isn't that great? This is an example of one I did yesterday. See how every one can be different? What a great example of a, of a pattern that is symmetric. I always like to pick a book when I do a video. And today's book I want to show you is called Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. I picked this book because of the beautiful artwork that shows the symmetry of the butterfly. For example, look at this beautiful page right here. You can see that each wing is identical in the symmetry of the pattern. Let me show you this next page also is a beautiful example of the monarch butterfly and the pattern on each of its wings that are the same. It also is a good book that tells about the life cycle of a butterfly. Well, keep your eyes open, and I hope that you will start to see butterflies in your neighborhood as I have been seeing them in my neighborhood lately. Thanks for watching.